shoot, guys. We are talking about money today and not just how to make money, but how to make more money as a photographer with out overbooking yourself. The name of the game is diversifying your income stream. I'm gonna teach you a few ways to do that today. Let's dive in. Hi guys, my name's Hannah. I'm a Michigan-based wedding and couples photographer turned educator here to help you level up your biz. Today we're gonna to talk about increasing your income as a photographer because I know a lot of photographers have slower seasons of business and I wanna teach you guys how to be able to create a consistent income stream even in those slow seasons. The first and most popular way for photographers to earn a little bit of extra cash flow is to sell prints. First way to sell physical prints for profit is to sell to already existing clients. Oftentimes the gallery delivery systems that you're already using like Pixie Set or PicTime have a shop feature built right into them that the photographer, you, will earn a commission every time somebody is purchasing digital products or physical prints from that shop. So if you use one of those gallery delivery systems, make sure that you go into the shop feature and set it up so that you are earning a commission from the sales that your clients might already be purchasing. This is probably one of the easiest and best ways, you guys, to make a little extra cash flow on the services that you're probably already providing. Another form of selling prints is selling wall prints online. So let's say, for example, you are a family photographer and in your spare time, you have a hobby of taking landscape pictures. Maybe you like taking pictures of the trees, the clouds, whatever it might be, you can take that digital image and sell it online as a wall print. People are always looking for decorations to spruce up their house, wall prints are the best way to do so. There are a lot of companies out there that you can even upload your digital images to them and they will handle everything from packaging to printing it. You don't have to deal with the back end side of selling the wall prints. A few great places to sell wall prints are on Etsy, Shopify, or Printful. I would check into all these places and see which might be a great fit for you. The next way to earn a little extra cash flow as a photographer is to monetize your knowledge. You might be sitting here thinking, oh, I'm just a beginner. What knowledge do I have? I want to challenge you to ask yourself, what am I a pro at? Maybe you're a pro at styling family sessions, telling families what to wear, how to match. Maybe you're a pro at helping engaged couples create a timeline for their wedding. There are so many different aspects of knowledge that you might bring to the table as a photographer that might not even be directly photography related. A lot of times when I tell people that they should monetize their knowledge, they think, oh, I need to become a photography educator or I need to teach other photographers. And that's not it. You might not have a lot of photography based knowledge. But let's say you're a family photographer. Like I said, you might have a lot of knowledge in how to style a family session or how to tell families what to wear. You can then turn that into a style guide create a digital product on that, sell it for $20, and that's completely passive income. You put in a little bit of work up front, and then that product is gonna work for you down the line. Not only is it something that you could provide to your clients, maybe free of charge, but it's something that you could grow your income stream. There are so many ways outside of physically educating that you can monetize that knowledge. So I challenge you guys to sit down, maybe get a notebook and start brainstorming, what am I a pro at, and how can I monetize that knowledge to create another income stream. The next way to diversify your income stream or add a little extra cash flow is my absolute favorite because I really believe every single photographer should be doing this and every photographer is capable of doing this and that is stock photography. Essentially what stock photography companies do is display an image that you have uploaded to them for companies to buy stock images for their branding. The company will then buy your photo if they're interested in it and you receive a commission from the website on your photo. Each company is different. Sometimes the sale may look like a few cents. Sometimes the sale may look like a few hundred dollars, but there's a lot of potential in stock photography because a lot of times as photographers, we have external hard drives on top of external hard drives of pictures that are just sitting around. The beauty of stock photography companies as well is sometimes they're not even looking for an incredibly professional curated photo. So if you have a bunch of aesthetic pictures just sitting in your camera roll on your phone, you can try uploading those as well, make a little extra cash. There's always something to get creative with stock photography. I challenge you to just go on the website and look at what types of photos are selling and then try to see what you have that might fit into that. Go pull out some of those external hard drives, see if any of the pictures on your external hard drives look like what is selling on some of these websites that I'm about to mention and see if you can make a little bit of extra cash on the images you already have. A few great websites and agencies I would suggest you guys look into are iStock, Shutterstock, and Stocksy. 
The last idea I'm going to leave you guys with today on diversifying your income stream is blogging. This, in my opinion, can be another form of monetizing your knowledge. Let's say that you are a wedding photographer. You might have a lot of tips and tricks to share about the wedding industry, or maybe you have been to all the wedding venues in your area and you want to share that with couples in your area. You can take that information that you have, create a blog out of it, and there are so many ways to monetize a blog. There's ad revenue, there's affiliate marketing, you can get sponsors, like maybe you have a partnership with one of the venues that you're going to feature in your blog. They can then pay you for that. There's tons and tons of ways to monetize that blog. There are so many ways to make blogging profitable and worth your time. On top of blogging being profitable on its own, blogging is single-handedly the best way to improve your SEO or search engine optimization, which can bring a lot of leads into your websites or ideal clients. I am not a blogging expert by any means, but I do know the power of blogging for SEO and I know that it has so much monetization potential in and of itself. All things said and done, guys, there is never a magic formula to getting rich quick as a photographer. These are obviously all ways that you are going to have to put a little effort into. But ultimately, the goal with all of the income streams that I shared today are to create passive income. So up front, you will have to put that work in. But down the line, these are things that should become passive income streams. As photographers, I think it's so important to kind of diversify our income and develop passive income streams because not only does it bring us that financial freedom and have consistent income, but it gives us so much creative freedom when we're not tied down by finances and having to say yes to everything. We get to say yes to what we want to because we know finances aren't a stress for us. If you have any questions about the income streams I talked about in today's video, I would love if you could leave me a comment below. I'd love to answer it for you. If you found this video helpful, I would love if you could give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you guys next week for more educational content.